Alright, just a short video this time, but I want to highlight an interesting connection between calculus and algebra 1 that might not go noticed by some students uh, as they go through calculus, definitely not as they go through algebra 1. So if we think back to the days of learning quadratics, I'll draw ourselves some axes here. So we have x-axis, y-axis, and we're going to have some kind of parabola here that we're graphing. And if the question ever asked for the vertex, we were always told to remember that the y-coordinate of the vertex, if the parabola is of the form, it's of the form, let's write it down, ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero, that the the vertex is negative b over 2a. Why is this? Well, this short connection to calculus, if you take the derivative and try to optimize the parabola, the derivative of the quadratic here, if we take it, we're going to have 2ax plus b equals 0. And if we solve for x here, the x is going to be, and I, I meant to say the x position of this up here, the x is going to be, well, you subtract b, divide by 2a, the x position of the vertex is going to be negative b divided by 2a. Just a short connection, but you're just optimizing the parabola. That's where the 2 comes from. And I thought it would be worth putting into a video. It was an intriguing observation that I made a while back.